my god, it's massive. We basically just wasted our money because we're finally here in Dalat after an 11 hour sleeper bus. We're pretty tired. We have had some coffee, we've had some breakfast at our hostel, but we've got a lot of things to do here. Plenty to box off. So we're at our first stop, the Tanla waterfall. I think there's a few waterfalls here and there's a few roller coasters to go on but we don't really know what we're doing here. <laughs> there's various signs in different directions to go to different activities and this is probably the first time for a while that we've got somewhere and felt really like disorientated but there's a map ahead. Let's have a look at that. To the map. Alright, this is we wanna oh, see the waterfall okay. first, so Three. Right now it's up there. And then is that where the roller coaster is? Yeah, it says Alpine Coaster 1 entrance. And then Waterfall Area 3 is Alpine Coaster 3 entrance. I'm not sure what the difference is between the two. But let's head to 3 because this is, this is Waterfall 1 and 2. May as well do it in order. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Thank you. We've just bought our tickets that will gain us access to the waterfall itself. But it looks like there's a ticket office behind me which is where you can buy the Alpine Coaster tickets. Yeah, it just looks like Alpine Coaster 1. I think that's a small one. Okay. So we're going to go for the big one. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. For as touristy as this place is, it's not very well signed. We're not too sure where we're going. Alright, caught a glimpse of the waterfall, so at least we know we're on the right path. Definitely not a swimming type of waterfall. But it's really nice to look at and for some reason there's a big gorilla over here. Yeah, it doesn't ruin it but it's very touristy here. I mean there's yeah. a restaurant in front of us. But it's really charming, it's, it's lovely. This place is quite tricky to work your way around. God, it's massive. All right, we're headed to the roller coaster now. I'm a little bit nervous, but it looks like you can get two people in the one car, so <laughs> Jamie will have to put up with me. I think it's supposed to be almost like a toboggan style, so it's not like you're gonna be hailed through the mountains or the woods rather at um, 100 mile an hour. At least that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's gonna be 100 mile an hour. <laughs> Jamie! Thoughts on the roller coaster? <laughs> Short and sweet. <laughs> We basically just wasted our money because, so it says on the map, Alpine Coaster 3, one way ticket 150,000, round trip 200,000. We thought there's no point getting a round trip, we'll just like walk to the waterfall on the other side and then take the roller coaster back to get us back to the car park. What we didn't realise is that way back is pretty much all uphill. So it's basically just, you sit in this little toboggan and you're on an automatic stair lift for most of the way. And then you get a little bit of like downhill action, but it's really not much. Tips for anyone else coming here, just buy the round trip ticket 
from the very start, take the roller coaster to get you to the waterfalls and then come back on the return leg. I think we just had like a really rushed morning trying to get out and see everything we can we can. And when we got here we were just really excited to see the waterfall. So we went there first and then that's how it kind of like spiralled out of any sort of order. But we didn't come to Dalat to do a roller coaster, so in terms of the actual activity, we're not gutted, it's more the fact that we it's just fact we wasted spent, our like, money. We spent three hundred thousand, which is like ten pounds, just yeah. to do like a crappy roller coaster. For God's sake. Oh well. Anyway, where are we had Don't make now? the same mistake as us. Yeah, we made the mistake, so you don't have to. <laughs> the next stop isn't too far from here. It's a apparently a five minute drive. Looks like a nice temple, so we'll go and check that out. And then if we spend an hour at the monastery, we might catch sunset at the lake. Yeah. Maybe. So now we're at Truk Lam, Buddhist monastery. And has had to put this shawl around her because <laughs> she had the shoulders out. I'm not sure if you're allowed. They had these at the front, so I just thought I'll put it on anyway. <laughs> Feel like a medieval maiden. And we drove past the big lake to get here, which was beautiful. Yeah, really nice. Yeah. A couple of people who look like they've just been married getting photo shoots done on the lake. Yeah. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? What a backdrop. Don't be getting any ideas. <laughs> Probably one of the nicest temples I've been to in terms of the setting. Yeah, it's not just hidden in like the woods or on a mountain randomly, it's surrounded by lakes, it's beautiful. Looks like there's a koi pond down there as well. Really pretty. So we've just learned that this is a fairly modern temple. It's only built one year before we were born, 1993. So yeah, I feel like you can tell. It doesn't look super rustic, old, but it's really, really nice to look at. I'm getting a really zen vibe, like quite Japanese. Yeah, it is giving me Japanese vibes. How is it spinning? <laughs> this was only about 10 minutes from the waterfall. Definitely recommend coming here. It's, the gardens around the temples are huge, so it's just lovely to come walk around. There's loads of tables as well. I've seen a few people with picnics. I feel like you could spend half a day here just, just admiring the scenery. To be yeah. I don't think there's much history here from what I could tell, but it's just a nice place to come and it's really peaceful. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's about 15 degrees, but because we've been so used to like 30 odd degrees, it feels freezing. Yeah. So we're going to get a bowl of pho to warm us up. Yeah. Then we're going to go and check out the night market. Probably eat some more. <laughs> we're going to head to a bar or two, just have a drink. Check out the nightlife since we've only got one night here. The area we're walking into looks very built up, looks lively. Yeah. We're just walking along the river. So we've come to a place called Pho One C and it's a really small local restaurant and it smells so good so we'll definitely show you what we get. 
absolutely unreal. £4.30 for two bowls of pho and those drinks as well. So Yeah, so good. Yeah. So reasonable, especially for a big city like Dalat. Busy? Tempted. I feel like I haven't had strawberries in so long. So strawberries are definitely a thing here because every stall is selling them. I'm gonna get some, I think. No, they're not, but they're just as satisfying. What do you think? Yeah, they're nowhere near as good, not as juicy. But, yeah, they're still satisfying. <laughs> Absolutely ravaged them. They're still hungry. Yeah, but for something like artificially sweet now, we just got to the end of the market now. It's quite good, but a lot of the food vendors kind of just are all the same, aren't they? They all make variations of the same thing. How much? 10,000. 10. 10,000. Quick stop to try the food drink that we just bought. I think it's a soy milk drink, which is obviously very popular in Asia. Oh, proper sweet. I like that. Hot sugary milk. Right, not not my cup of tea, but let's go. <laughs> that tastes like when your parents used to make your hot wheat fix in the morning and the, and the milk that was left over. Yeah, who doesn't love that? No. Yeah. This was just a, she said nothing in it, so I think it's just a plain donut. We've seen them all over Asia, but we have not actually tried one properly yet, so nothing inside. You know what it needs in that is some warm wheat milk. <laughs> no. I feel like maybe a Maybe it should have something on it, like a powdered sugar or something. It's nothing. I thought the batter at least would be flavoured. Yeah, that's boring. This one's got a sweet flavour to it. Oh yeah, there's cream inside. Custard. I like it. Reminds me of the cream puffs we had in Singapore. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Last stop of the day will be May's Bar. Let's go and check that out. There's just little dents and grooves within the trees and structures. You can just find a seat and have a drink. Really cool. Mad, <laughs> yeah. Roy right, Key. Okay. What's your thing? Eh, it's all right. Where are we headed now? Let's have a look. My phone's on 6%. Hello. 